Good evening, sir. Other members of the class, my name is Conrad Taylor, and I'm a part of the group that will be presenting today on quality pioneers in the field of production and quality management. The people that have been selected for the purpose of this presentation are Karua Ishikawa, who is known as the father of a quality circle, and Genichi Taguchi, who is best known for the Taguchi's method. The aim of the presentation is basically to give insight on the contribution that has been made by Karyo Ishikawa and Genichi Taguchi to the field of production and quality management. And the scope of the presentation is as depicted on screen. We'll be looking at background information for Mr. Ishikawa, the contributions that he made. We'll be doing the same for Mr. Taguchi. And at the end of the presentation, we'll draw a summary, make a conclusion. And of course, if we have time, we'll foster discussion and we'll have our references as well. Getting right into the meat of the presentation, we see where on screen that Mr. Ishikawa is known for his role in launching Japan's quality movement in the 1960s. And he's also known for developing the what we have come to know as the fishbone diagram. Now the fishbone diagram or the Ishikawa diagram is a cause and effect diagram that helps managers to track down the reasons for imperfections, variations, defects or failures where they might occur. The diagram looks just like a fishbone skeleton with the problem at its head and the causes for the problem feeding into the spine. Once all the causes under, that undertie the problem have been identified, managers can start looking for solutions to ensure the problem doesn't become a recurring one. I won't go too deep into this because my colleagues will be getting into it, but also a purpose of the diagram is that it can be used in product development. Having a problem solving product will ensure that your new development will be popular and they also use the fishbone diagram to look for and prevent quality problems before they even arise so it can be used as a troubleshoot a troubleshoot kind of system before there's a problem and you can overcome all or most of your feeding troubles when you introduce something like the fishbone diagram ishikawa believed quality improvement is a continuous process and can always be taken one step further Continued customer service is his notion of company-wide quality control. Service would extend across the company itself in all levels of management. The legendary customer service model. This states that good customer service will result to happy customers. These happy customers will result to repeated purchases, which will lead to the organization gaining better profits. This will then lead to the organization competing more effectively. The seven quality control tools. The first guru who proposed seven basic tools was Dr. Keoru Ishikawa in 1968 by publishing a book entitled Jemba no QC Shuho. These seven basic quality control tools that were introduced by Dr. Ishikawa are check sheets, graphs, more specifically trend analysis, histograms, Pareto charts, cause and effect diagrams, scatter diagrams, and control charts. The cause and effect diagram, also known as the fishbone diagram because of its shape, and also the Ishikawa diagram. The fishbone diagram identifies many possible causes for an effect or problem. It can be used to structure a brainstorming session. The diagram sorts ideas immediately into useful categories. So there are four steps to the fishbone diagram. The first step is to state the problem. So one will identify the problem they are facing and write its effect on the right. Its effect or problem on the right. The next step is to define your categories. So one will list the categories on the spines of the fishbone. These categories are equipment, process, people, materials, environment, and management. These categories help to improve idea generation. The third step is to brainstorm each category. Horizontal lines are then drawn off each of the spines to record its causes, which can be secondary or primary. These secondary and primary causes will then aid in the brainstorming of the problem the last step the last and final step is to analyze your result
Quality Circle. Quality Circle is described as voluntary groups of employees who work on similar tasks or share an area of responsibility. They operate on the principle that employee participation in decision making and problem solving improves the quality of work. Structure of Quality Circle. Top Management, Steering Committee, Coordinator, Facilitator, Leader, Members, non-quality control members. It is amazing to note that Ishikawa drew an exponent on the double address then in plan do check app mode as seen in this slide. Internal customer. Internal customers are people or departments who work in the same organization as a service provider. Ishikawa suggested that over-reliance on specialists would limit the scope of improvements for all the employees. Emphasis on internal customers lowered employee acquisition costs and increase employee productivity and performance. Looking at the diagram, we're seeing where it goes from the external supplier to the external customer. In the middle, we're seeing the internal customer and the internal supplier. So it goes from external supplier, supply, production, packing, marketing, and external customer. Dr. Jinichi Taguchi one of the founding fathers of quality. Dr. Taguchi was an engineer and a statistician. He developed a methodology for applying statistics to improve the quality of manufactured goods. He was the first person to integrate marketing into the idea of quality. Taguchi worked for various companies. These companies included Ford, Motorola, and Toyota. In total quality management, Taguchi advocated for the following. These are loss function, the philosophy of offline quality control, robustness, innovations in the statistical design of experiments. Taguchi's quality loss function. The quality loss function is the loss imparted to the society by the product from the time the product is designed to the time it is shipped to the customer. This can be determined by using a simple quadratic function. In this quadratic function, which is illustrated to your right, the T represents the target value of the quality characteristics. The L represents the lower specification limit of quality characteristics. The U is the upper specification limit of the quality characteristics. And the C is the loss associated with a unit produced at the specification limit, assuming the loss at the target is zero. Philosophy of Quality Offline Control Taguchi realized that the best opportunity to eliminate variation in the final product quality is during the design of a product and its manufacturing process. The process of quality offline control has three stages. These stages are system design, parameter design, and tolerance design, which is being illustrated in the diagram shown on the screen. Togachi Method Robust Design Sagachi robust design is used to find appropriate control factor levels in a design or a process to make the system less sensitive to variations in uncontrollable noise factors, that is, to make the system robust. The robust design approach takes into account, one, the noise, considered as the variation from environmental to manufacturing and component failure. Two, the cost, considered as the rate of the deterioration in the area. The robust design model is an exclusive alter alternative for design of experiment. To the right, you will see the design of the parameter diagram of a product or system. We will take into consideration the steps in Tagashi's methodology. We have the different phases and it is as outlined in the diagram shown you will move straight from phase one to phase four where you start with determining the factors straight into val validation of the experiment design of experiments taguchi's framework of design of experiments is idiosyncratic and often flawed he made a number of innovations author gonald array is used to treat the design process such that quality is built into the product during the product design stage. The measured performance characteristic from each trial on the experimental design can be used to analyze the relative effect of the different parameters. The signal-to-noise ratio 
is the SN number is calculated to determine the effect each variable has on the output. Here's an example of an orthogonal array, and here's how the signal to noise ratio is calculated. After calculating the SN ratio for each experiment, the average SN value is calculated for each level. Then the range, which is R, is higher or the SN, is low SN, of the SN of each parameter is tabulated. The larger the R value for a parameter, the larger the effect the variable has on the process. Thank you for listening to our presentation on Professor Dr. Kauru Ishikawa, father of Quality Circle, and Dr. Jinichi Taguchi, known for Taguchi's methods.